Hi, this is Mariano from M Fabric. In this short video, I will show you an advanced feature, but it may be useful in some cases. Uh, let's. This is the dashboard that we will use to explain this new feature. You can load it by going to New, Load Example, Hub, Load Example Hub. It will load this dashboard that shows uh, this new feature. So let's reload it to see from the beginning what's happening. You can see here these three new stickers on the top display for each new sticker the same event at the same time. And we can see here that each event comes to one of the three new stickers in our own Robin fashion. And the one at the end, we will reload again to see it. You can see that we will get three events on the top before we get one in at the bottom. Let's see what it means on the design view. So let's go to design. We can see here the dashboard. We see the hub called broadcast here, which gives every event it receives to all the targets it's connected to. We see here the round robin hub, which will give one event to each target it's connected to uh, at each round, and then it will go back to the to the beginning. And at the end, join will wait until it has at least one event for each source it's connected and it will even only one event with the result of the three events it received. In this case, three, it can be more or less than those. So you can see here we have the ID of each source and the last event you received for each. So these are different ways of distributing the events one hub receives to the target it's connected to. To configure it, you just drag and drop a hub. By default, it's it's broadcast, what it used to be before uh, this feature. But if you go to settings, you can change it from broadcast to join or round robin. Uh, the most useful from the new ones is join. For example, imagine you have a join uh, hub connected to three sources, and you want to do something only when you have at least one event from each source. So you use join, it will wait until it has at least one event for each source and it will em emit only one event uh, for each uh, uh, with uh, the information of uh, each event it receives for um, all its sources. And whenever a new event comes from one of the sources, it will emit a new event uh, with the, the new information it received from the source. So it's useful to to do some processing with some aggregation of events from different sources. Uh, as I said, it's a quite an advanced feature, so you may not need to understand it or use it at the beginning, but when you need it, it's quite useful. Uh, I hope you liked it, and if you have any feedback or questions, just ask us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Bye.